the slides. You could, if you wished to. This may save you some time. Any less violence? More, perhaps. <laughs> How do we want to proceed? So this is where we, we hit our save point, right? Yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> quick save. Hard save. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, yeah. So quick save, hard save. Let's jump down a tube and see what happens. Then when that <laughs> fails, we load back here. <laughs> go through the door. Uh, you don't have time magic, unfortunately. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to get a drink. Be quick. It, it... Um, the, the door mm -hmm. is, uh, so like I said before, it doesn't have any obvious keyholes. Uh, it has these sort of like winding, uh, like coils across it, uh, sort of interlocking in this intricate pattern. Um, looking at it, it seems to be some kind of like puzzle lock. Um, because uh, you sort of like examine it, and it seems as though the coils can like slide and move against one another. With with my occult roll, would I know kind of how the gaze attack works? Like, would um, you have to be able to see me? Eye contact. So. Okay, so she has to make eye contact? Yep. Uh, the petrification is irreversible, though, as far as you know. I, I can try to make us invisible. That would make it very difficult, I think, to make eye contact. I spilled hot chocolate all over. Yeah. Although, I, well, no, actually, you, like, you have to, you have to see her eyes, I guess. Okay. Hey, I'm halfway there. Slash just, face. Just <laughs> fucking, I, I take the eye patch, put it over my other eye. And then you're blind. Yeah. Fuck Problem it. solved. Sweet. Done. I mean, blind fighting may not be the worst way to go about this. <laughs> God damn it. Like I said, hot chocolate kind of spilled all over again. Um... I mean, it sounds like she's still going to attack us, right? Because she has to. She's there will be she's copious just, amounts of violence. She's, she's bound by whatever thing is keeping her here to attack. Um, Cop out. Yeah. Is, gonna, I, is this area... Oh, well, I had to attack you. <laughs> I guess she probably wants to be free, or he, or snake lady, whatever. Is this area lit? Keto. Keto. Uh, no, unlit. So we're already at minus six, right? Well, I mean, if you didn't have dark vision, yes. Right. So more darkness would make it so we can't see? I already cast uh, no, you are at the maximum amount of darkness. Oh, okay. Are you gonna jump down the hole? <laughs> I uh, turn on my my boots. Oh yeah, that works. And I kind of walk down and poke my head down to see, like past, okay. past that that um, that thirty foot drop to see what yeah. is she talking about? What's more dangerous so this way? <laughs> the um, it sort of like slides or it goes down and then goes off in this direction. Okay, and. Uh, how far down do you, do you go? Are you just gonna go until you, like you see something like yeah, I, notable? I, I go down until I see the, or uh, till I hit the thirty foot. Then I shout up and say that, uh, yeah, this tunnel goes right into the chamber. It looks like. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick peek. Um, 
forgetting about the telekinesis because so, I remember the, the telepathy because I do that all right. time with Luca. <laughs> uh, you move, you go down. It goes down like thirty feet or so, uh, okay. so not too far, and then slopes off to the side and ends about here. Okay. And you see, like where it ends, it it goes out and uh, sort of trans transitions into this sort of like, um, sort of rough stone floor. Um, and there are, uh, there's like a handful of, uh, what seem to be bones scattered about it. <laughs> Leaving. Leaving right now. <laughs> All right. So Mr. Dibbs goes down there and then about 10 seconds later comes walking back up. Nope. 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 Definitely not. Definitely not. I don't know what made all those bones, but we're not going to go fight it unless you want to. But that's a lot of bones. Probably bones. Not. There's bones down Probably there. Not. Bones, you say? I say bones. Lots of them. Oh. What's with all the bones? I, I, I ask the, the snake lady. Ah, uh, Ket Keto, what's with all the bones? Lost, poor lost souls thrown down here, brought. Oh, who throws? Forsaken by their creators. Did the did people used to live here? This is a place where they put things. Want to see? Huh. Seems like an awful long way to go to bury a body. There are skeletons which they felt must be buried deep, dark corners of the world, so they may be forgotten. Time. Are those magical creatures? Something of the sort. Uh, I look back to the captain. Huh? Magical bones. Mm -hmm. No shortage of those. Mm -hmm. I have plenty of bones. Actually, my issue right now is I, I never have time. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Too busy running a ship. Yep. And, you know, delving into deep vaults. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Through the door or through the tube? We'll just piss off on this whole adventure and go back home. <laughs> it's door. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be petrified, but. Turn to bones. Oh, no, uh, just... Before we do, I can throw up some arcane resistance on us. Down for that. That could probably help. All right. And yeah. I'm gonna and I'm gonna have Luca playing for the first five rounds. Yeah. So if we get wounded, we can ignore him. One, two up. One, two. I can. I can try to boost our notice so that we can hear better. Yeah. Don't make us see better. <laughs> We don't want that. Um, <laughs> okay, so ignore two wounds if we get them. For the first five I'll wounds. I'll burn combat. one of my major bone tiles. You, you, you're going to keep playing that as you... Well, I, I'm going to play until we get into combat. Okay. And then I'm going to switch it, and then it'll play for five rounds after. So cause... you're backed by a, a cheery loot track. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad I burned a bone tiles, man, because I got a four. You're casting Arcane Resistance. Yep. Okay, so that gives you plus two armor against spell attacks and plus two to resist uh, spell effects. And I forget how full defense works. Can you move in full? Uh, I believe so, yes. You, you can't run, but you can move your full. Okay, I am going to put my eye patch over my other eye then and just move in full defense. All right. <laughs> Um, um, okay, so I got 
I got boost notice with a raise. So everyone's plus two dice on notice. I, I I don't suppose I can just I can pick like a particular sense, right? Um, no, notice covers all the senses. Damn it! Good thing I have an eye patch. <laughs> I mean, if you're like not trying to look for something, then <laughs> right, you're just actively looking at your feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hot cocoa, so <laughs> damn hot. Uh, okay, well, so I mean, the the door remains closed before you. Oh yeah, I mean, I haven't gone blind <laughs> yet. <laughs> All right, knock, knock, knock. Uh, it it does not open. All right, to your knocking. Look, uh, I I think I might have said this while you're getting your hot cocoa, but. Oh. Uh, uh, it, it has sort of like these this intricate spiraling That's ring right. patterns, kind know. of like a, one of those puzzles where you like shift the rings around. Oh, all right. Who's good at brainy bits? This will take me forever. Uh, I can give it a shot. All right, shoot away. What do you want me to roll? The correct right. dice. To try to open it. Uh, smarts. I got a five. A five? Okay. I was... I was uh... <laughs> are you, uh, going uh, to assist? No, that's why she rolled so low. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> Alright, so you, you work on it for uh, a couple of minutes, just sort of, like, sliding them around, and... I, like... You feel like you're getting right there for a little bit, but then like you sort of run into a dead end. During this time, can we just be making small? Can I just be making small talk with, uh, uh, Koda? Keto. 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 Yeah. K E T O. Like the diet. Uh, I think that's keto, right? It's spelled the same, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I think it is spelled the same. Okay, that's what I meant. Yeah, spelled the same, but pronounced <laughs> keto. Eh. Um, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, yeah how does that go? <laughs> Small talk. <laughs> While you're, like, puzzle opening. Yeah. So! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll probably start asking her questions, like, so what's, what's the purpose of this place? Tell me more about your Pete or the people who put you here. Stuff um, like that. Yeah, she says, uh, ask questions. as I said, it is a place where they throw their things they think best forgotten. Like you? They turned me into a monster to protect and ensure that people like you did not steal from here. Well, maybe if they thought they're best for God, maybe we don't want them. <laughs> there is wealth, riches, which they cast aside as impure, and things greater than that. It will be oh, worth. You yeah, had me as well. <laughs> Did they build this or come up, like, stumble up? Yes. The choir of the Great One, whose name I will not speak. Uh, hmm. Choir of the Great One. Is that the cult or whatever? Yeah, uh, she also called it the Immaculate Choir. Yep. The, the he who shall not be named. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you continue uh, working on that for a couple of minutes. Uh, you are still troubling with it. Uh, you can attempt another smarts roll if you would like. 
Sure. Unless someone else is gonna come give a shot. Hell no, I ain't helping. I got no smoke. Uh, can I assist? Uh, you could try and assist, yeah. Play. Smarts roll of your own. Fail. You're oh no. See, that's why I wasn't doing it. Well, that, no, that brings me to a seven. Oh. <laughs> so, like, you think you almost have it, and then Tara comes and is like, okay, let me help, and just, like, moves a couple of things. Mm -hmm. And then, like, that just totally messes it up. And I'm kind of like, wait, no, Captain. I, oh, that's what I did. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. It looked good. I'm all out of smarts. What? I'm all out of smarts. <laughs> I'm all out of smarts. There's no... Uh, you you do, do in that time, despite Tara's assistance, uh, feel like you get closer to the... Uh, the like, you, you've unlocked several of the rings, and um, you, there's only, like, two or three that are keeping the door... Alright, guys, we got this. Come on now, just leave her alone. Uh, I got a five. Five? Okay. Um, with the the progress you made with the last roll, uh, that is enough to unlock the uh the remaining co coils. Um, they slide out from the middle of the door and uh, off its surface. Okay. And you hear sort of like a a, a sort of resonant. As uh, it is unlocked and uh, splits in half, <laughs> beginning to slowly slide open. All right, I blindfold up, and uh, scimitar and Donzire. Okay. <laughs> and full defensive. <laughs> um, so Mr. Dibs is going to be totally blind. Uh, what about Robin and Tara? Well, I'm currently looking. No, I don't have that on. This way. Okay. So you're not looking in. How about, how about Tara? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna flip my eye patch over to my non-magic eye, but I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna try to keep looking with the magic eye. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you. <laughs> you get sort of the general idea of the room with that. Uh, you still are blind. Yeah. Um, but you kind of can sort of see where like the edges of things are a little bit. So it's, it's slight. It's slightly better than than Mr. just being totally blind. <laughs> than just shutting your eyes. And you can still see magic. <laughs> hey. Uh, which you do see um, at the end. Uh, there. So there is sort of like a long, either a hallway or a bridge. You're not sure. <laughs> um, and at the end, you see uh, some kind of, like, uh, box or case or something that is radiating magic. And there are, like, these glowing sort of, like, chains wrapped around it and then sort of wrapping up around uh, the form of, uh, like, this sort of a silhouette of uh, a woman at the end, and uh, you see sort of flickers of magic off to either side of the bridge or hallway. Um, either like on the walls or like off to the side of the bridge, not really sure. Um, and yeah, so then Robin, you're looking backwards then, right? Yep. And then okay. I was gonna say, are, are you in there, uh, uh, Keto? As I'm playing. Yes. <laughs> and to the uh, the snake sounds are very loud coming from this direction. Oh yeah. Plus our hearing's <laughs> boosted. Yep. <laughs> uh, very unnerving. Oh Jesus. I can can I roll notice to see if I can hear any movement? Um. Yeah. Oh wait, I boosted my dice. Forgot about that. Be all better. I am better at this now. <laughs> Magically better. Got an eleven. Yes. An eleven. Okay, so you sort of like pause and focus, and you hear sounds like it's kind of like sandpaper rubbing across sandpaper. 
um, around like the walls of a fairly large chamber. Um, <laughs> here, we'll, know, this is I'm going to do this. Don't reveal uh, it. Don't reveal I'm it. I'm not going to reveal it. I'm going to reveal <laughs> the general outline of the room. Oh, okay, I get it. Um, be just to sort of like give you the scale. Yep. Because um, <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be awesome. I'm just going to run into the darkness <laughs> and not know where I am. And it's totally legit. Because <laughs> I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> Uh, so let's just outline this. This is a brand new way to fight. Like, you could have done this and be like, you know what? I'm not even going to draw right. a map because they're just going to blind themselves. That's the general outline. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should do. We should have an entire blind party and then Ben doesn't need to do any map draw. I don't. <laughs> well, we're not using Rule 20 because you're all blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mail you some some braille. There you go. The braille's in the mail. <laughs> All right. What do you need us to do now, Kato? Come. Uh, but then you're gonna attack us. Buy me dinner first. Take what you can and run. But how do we release you? Steal the thing that is before me. Oh. Is... Does it need to leave the vault? If you wish to live. <laughs> Alright, game plan. I'll take the thing. Because it seems like it might be like a, a heavyish thing. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, you can actually see the thing, and you see that it is like changed to uh, a woman's <laughs> form uh, okay. at the end of this hallway. Uh, you, at least you're assuming the like glowing magical box is the thing she's talking about. Yeah. Okay. So she's like, it's like chained to her. It's like a box. Oh, let's just take her and the box then. Could you um, go with the box? This is the weirdest damsel in distress. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're standing here blind, talking. <laughs> could, could you go with the box? Yeah, to talk uh, to the thing that's that's supposed to kill us. It says, "Uh, I must." You must go so with you the box. Get out of the vault, then you're free. Yes. But How do I open? These big giant floor doors. Oh yeah, the, with the chain. Unless you have the proper keys, it is not possible uh, without force. The, and does this go all the way up to the to the ocean floor? I believe so. Will the ocean kill you? No. Should we just flood this place? It would slow us down. It would slow us down, yeah. But it would allow, allow us to get her out of here real quick. It would not slow me down. <laughs> that, that was a threat, I take it? <laughs> no. A statement. I mean, technically, it wouldn't slow me down either. Oh, should give her the boots. No, these are my boots. <laughs> <laughs> you can well, even wear see, boots. You can't quite the pickle here, Kato. No. See, you can't even wear boots. Mm. I don't sort know. of like a, a chorus of restless hissling coming from uh, yeah. uh, rustling through the chamber. But we don't even know what to steal. We have to steal the big box. And it seems like she has to come with the box. And we leave the vault. And then she's free. And then we can steal whatever we want. I truly wish you were less careful, thieves. 
I like only the good ones are careful. I like not being stoned. Yes. I mean, this place was built to stop people like us from getting the things we want. This is true. So, can't be foolish here. Hey, quick question. Really well. Take and your time. And, why, and, and, and if we succeed, you are free. So why do you wish we weren't so careful? I have grown restless here. Oh. How long ago did these fish-like people come? Some time. She's lost track of time. It's hard to... Fairly recently, I think. Is there a whole other species of humanoids that we're not aware of? Kind of looks like it. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> these are some... Cr Maybe we should take one of these fuckers back with and sell it. Like, or go find their just home. carry the stone statue. Well, if we flood it, that'd be easy. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, more weight to strap onto dibs. <laughs> As we float up. So, uh, uh, can you tell us how you will attack us if we try to come close? I think you have guessed. <laughs> I cannot tell. We will be turned to stone. I. Oh, also, I'm pretty sure her snakes are poisonous. Oh. I'm not. Shit. Sorry. I am not. Venomous. Bound to attack until you take. Oh. I take off the eye patch. Or I, I, I look into the chamber. You look into the chamber? Mm -hmm. Okay. If she's not bound to attack until... Is, is your, your, uh, your stone gaze voluntary? Or if I ever look, if her would look at your face, are we just going to become stone? The lats. Okay. Don't look at her face, Dibs. Shit. All right, uh, I'm gonna. What should I roll? A jelly? I put the eye patch back down because I was mid doing it. Uh, sure. Give me an agility roll. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, mid mid that question, I was already reaching for my patch. All right, got a five. A five. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. It could be worse. I rolled the wrong die. Uh, yeah, it was worse. I got a three. Okay. <laughs> um, so you get uh a decent view of the room. Uh, you do not uh, see her eyes. Uh, she's pretty far away. Okay. She's down here. Okay. Um, there is sort of like a bridge that goes across this sort of large cavern area, and you saw piles of something okay, um, littering the area. So would you say bridge-ish right there? Yeah, thereabouts. Okay. It's it's uh it's a little bit narrower. It's like in the middle here. Yeah, but I. Can you yeah, see my arrow? Yep. Okay. Cool. But now I don't think anyone else can see my lines because. <laughs> no. <laughs> there. So, yep. the bridge is like right here. Yep. <laughs> this is a weird way to experience. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> I, it's interesting. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's that narrow. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Okay. So, oh, Captain, uh, this, this is a narrow bridge. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, pretty much right in front of you. <laughs> Don't stray. <laughs> um, we may want to fly. I do not know. Well, I mean, we can also explore the rest of the place. Come back. As long as we don't try to take it from her, right? Or, I think as long as we don't try to take anything, right? Right. Okay, I do the thing where you like you look downward, like you know, where you, even if you put a blindfold on, you can just look yeah. down and see your feet and see a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you don't step off the edge or anything. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you could do that pretty safely. Okay. So yeah. Can can I like look down so I can only see like a few feet in front of me? 
Yeah, that's. Yeah, you could do that. So yeah, I'll I'll come join them. That's what we're we're up to. Okay. All right. Uh, let's make so I will I'll reveal the area like. Yep. One square around you. Happy Keto. We're getting less careful. <laughs> yep. We're we're starting a reckless plan. <laughs> we're just coming over there. To have a little look, see. We're not stealing anything yet. <laughs> we just want to see what that oh, is. Oh, by the way, Robin, uh, I, this is all black. This is this is uh, ledge here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I made the background of the like the bottom part uh... black, so that's gonna be hard to see just like by itself <laughs> with the fog of war. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That, that you know that'll help increase your your immersion yeah oh no it's one of those it's in the, right. it's a video there's game an edge there's an edge right there it's a video in game front of bridge. you Robin. a video game bridge yeah because now behind us is like leaving it's like going oh away. yeah <laughs> so we, we have to run we have to run You're on the island of darkness we have to run. it's 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 collapsing behind us <laughs> um so yeah you get there uh so Tara, as, as you guys walk up to here, um, you see something on, at the corner of your vision. Um, are, are you doing the same thing as Mr. Dibbs is doing with the like just sort of tipping the bottom of your eye patch out, or um, well, are you just doing I... magic sight? Right now, I'm just using magic sight. But if I just okay. like, look at her, do I yeah. feel if I, okay? Uh, you look at her just like with your 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 wizard eye. With the magic eye, yeah. Yeah, you you see the silhouette of a woman, but you don't, don't that like chains stoned. and stuff. You don't turn right yeah. hard at the sight of you, her. You're not you're not feeling hard. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll look over here with my wizard eye. Okay. Uh, you see shapes that, uh, like a scattering of sort of like uh limbs or like skeletal pieces uh like a skull that it sort of lights up in in your magical sight um okay. you know what i have okay i have a bit of an idea all right i'm gonna i'm gonna <coughs> cast a spell here oh dear all right i'm just gonna put an ice barrier in front oh, yeah. of her <laughs> so that we can't fucking see her <laughs> uh yeah, she's 23 squares away. Okay, I, I don't have it in front of me, but I think it's <laughs> smart, so I'll need to do the double range modifier. It's, um, it's barrier. It doesn't need to be right next to her, it just needs to be big. So I'll make it big as well. So that's one, two. I have. Yeah, barrier is smart range. Spells, uh... I mean, speaking of like not being <clears throat> careful thieves, those guys didn't even make it through the fucking door. Because it'll be at minus one. Because I'll burn my last major bone talisman. I think it's my last. How did they get turned to okay. stone if they didn't even get a chance to steal anything? Uh, a six. So there's there's a, a double size <laughs> ice barrier between us okay. and her. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll look around normally. What's happening? Uh, okay. What'd you do? Oh, so, I put the ice wall between them in front of her so that I don't have to look at her. We can look around for a second. You oh, look around see. normally. Uh, so you are treated to the full view of the room. <laughs> Once I <laughs> hear them not turn to stone in a minute, I'll, I'll start looking around. Same. Uh, well, oh. yeah. Okay. Take a rain, rain check on that for a second. Yep. Um, so you see the the room. Oh my! Um, the with the dark vision, you're able to see that some parts of the chamber are stone, like near the top and stuff. But most of it is like uh, these coils of gray, scaly skin. <laughs> and as you uh, We're in the sort of like look out, you see that there are uh, several uh, serpent heads 
<laughs> kind of like perched watching you from various points. Oh my god. I want to okay. go back in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> also, there are piles of um, bones. Not all of them are like uh, skele like actual bones. Some of them are made out of like uh, clay or like um, uh, like ceramic of some kind or metal even. And there are like cast aside weapons and like pieces of armor and stuff too. Yeah, just, just basically a giant trash grave. Just throwing down whole bodies. They don't care. Um. Armor and all. As uh, as Tara, uh, I want you to uh, give me a spirit roll. Okay. Um, because as you sort of like look up at and see the snakes, you see uh, its eyes are glowing this sort of like reddish orange color. Oh no. Um, All right, uh, I got a six. Okay, so you feel your joints stiffen slightly, um, and the the serpents close their eyes. Oh. Oh. Um. I don't know if arcane protection. Yep, I there there was a spirit roll at minus two, so okay. you got a uh, um, so and yeah, no no effect, you passed. Okay, but their eyes darken. Their eyes close. Oh, their eyes close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're being polite. <laughs> did did okay. you talk? Oh yeah, man! Because otherwise, that my you eye... can open your eyes. Oh, good, because. I just did. The giant <laughs> snakes turn you to stone, but what they're giants? politely oh my closing God. their eyes. Um. Yeah. So I. What giant snake? Oh my God. I dropped the boost. Uh. Uh. uh Perception. Yeah. Notice, and I I uh. did boost spirit. Okay. Assuming I can meta game that and be like, oh, I, we need to be more spirited if we're gonna. This. Also, we don't uh -huh. want to see it. <laughs> if you think that's something I could deduce, that that would be the sort of thing I would need to boost. What did you get on your occult roll for the gorgon? Uh, a nine. Okay. Um. Sure. Okay. Oh my god! This is. Um, but I only got one die. Instead of two. This is okay. So pulse way. one die to your spirit. Yep. For everyone. Uh, uh, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Well, do you want to just walk up and snatch it and run? Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, look, look at the size of those things. Is that is there just four or? Um, well, so there's there's four heads, but there's there's definitely more bodies than four more than four bot like yeah bodies. Uh, what, what's all this? Okay, uh, what's all what? Um, is that gold? And stuff? Uh, these are are small sort of like uh pots uh the size of like small pumpkins. And uh, these are uh, see, like um, brass discs, piles of brass discs, about uh, like three inches, three, four inches in diameter. Okay. So can I confirm that this is a, a Gorgon or? <laughs> um, like, like, is this like Rapunzel Gorgon hair? I mean, Holy shit. that's probably your best guess. It's definitely like you've never friggin' heard of a Gorgon being like this. Okay. Um, so it's either something like that or something entirely unknown to you. You've got uh, uh, quite the place here, Kato. Tis dismal. <laughs> I'd say I, terrifying. I imagine. Uh, and the 
things we wish to steal are beyond you or in this room? Closer to me. I don't mean the box that you're attached to. I mean behind. Uh, so he need one must pass through this room. How 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 did the the choir not be attacked? Members of the choir not get attacked by you? Did they have like a special thing that they wore or they did. Oh, okay. They left me to my own devices after that. Their bindings were not perfect. Got it. They have kept me company since then. Mm. I imagine you saw them further up. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, uh, so are, are you bound to this one room or can you go around the entire vault at will? The latter. In a sense. Your, your snakes can? Yes. But your body's secured to this chamber. The oh. snake can sort of move in a little bit as you walk forward. Damn, that's what I was doing. You can see their, their nostrils flaring. That's what I was doing. I was... <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um... Don't eat the soap, Mr. Dibs. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not, I don't even want to kick one of those pots. <laughs> I, uh, I'm kind of glad we can see because definitely would have kicked some shit and then that would have maybe triggered the stealing protocol. <laughs> All right, well. Is that, could, could you just possibly turn around? I don't know. <laughs> I... Cannot. What? I have no back. Oh. What is it that's attached to you? That glowing box thing, or the magic box thing that my my illustrious captain here saw. I cannot say. Something precious. This is that oh. same one, so I haven't gotten farther yet. <laughs> Can we loophole this like like children? Be like, can I guess what, if I guess what it is? is what it smaller than a bread box. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Weston. <laughs> well, I don't know, guys. Do you want to just grab it and run? Uh, <laughs> no. How many ice walls can you put up, Captain? Take it. I can put, I mean, as many as I'm willing to focus on, Can, but could, could eventually you... I'm going to roll bad and fail and all my spells will drop. Hey, hey, hey you make a dome? You have? Could you make a dome? Like a, like an igloo thing <laughs> going over this bridge? Not that big, no. Okay, that's what I mean. I don't know your range. Can, <laughs> can you make like a, a, a tank shell? Yeah. We push along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want like a, a battering yes, ram. Yes, the tortoise shell. You got it. You, yep. <clears throat> I mean, it's not I very can only much. make it so big. I mean, it's kind of up to Ben how big I can make it. Well, you made a diving bell that we all fit in. Yeah. Yeah, but that's. I mean, I guess. Um, also, yeah. like. It has to move. Yeah. Yes. How much rope do you have? 30 feet. See, it's... Uh, and I have moved closer. I mean, I don't... I'm not, you know, not that much. Three. So, feet. yeah, with base, you get five squares of wall. 
and then with the plus one size you get double that like so double for, per right? powerpoint you get five extra squares of of like a side of a square um, well it's not really that tough right no one hit smashes it for the most part yeah um, um, but if we're doing a smash and grab one hit would be enough you know because they if i if i'm running uh oh i just i just had the arrow like if you put it on that side and on that side and then i'm running and they smash smash right here you know smash smash that's my that's my attacks and i keep running and there's one here and one here and they attack smash smash and i keep running well i I'd, I'd probably need i would need four yep one wall one attack yep one attack smashes an entire wall <clears throat> okay so you need four walls. You wouldn't. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. That'd be that's too much. It'd be four different spells, four rolls I have to make. Too much. Too much. I understand. Also, Captain. I need to maintain the one that's keeping us from being turned to stone by her face, or right. I know it's these, it's these snake thingies. Right. No, I, I don't. Maybe I, not the woman. I, I realize I'm asking too much. I'm sorry. I just. You get used to relying on magic. It's hard to stop. <laughs> Yeah. I could potentially throw a fly on somebody. <clears throat> I said, how fast can you make us with fly? I you get double speed if you get a raise, so it's not really up to me. I mean, I can blood cast and shit, so I could probably get a raise on somebody. Well, I probably can't. I could put it on all of us, I guess. Yeah. So I could try that. Uh, no. <laughs> There's no great answer. <laughs> no, this is all horrible. I hate this. I hate this all. I'm pissing my pants a little. It's too late to turn back now. Why? Come. Like actually too late? Did you seal us in? Not yet. Oh, that's ominous. We're trying to help. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dibs, get back here. Okay, gladly. Uh, make us hopefully fly really fast. Hey, okay. Let me think. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> just, right, just hold one, on. Two, three. <laughs> Everyone back in their in their spots. I guess it doesn't matter deflection. how close they are. They're fast, <laughs> they're fast enough Detection. and big enough to where... These are also only the heads, obviously. Yep. Alright. Four. I'm gonna drop the ice wall thing, because I don't think her face actually does it. So, one, two, three. We, we could does do it? that. We can try to get them to knock themselves up. <laughs> Uh, you're not sure if her face actually does it. Yeah, we don't know. Well, that. I'm going to drop the ice wall and find okay. out. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to so, know. Are, are, is anyone looking over nope. there? Nope. Not looking. I'm I'm going to look over there. I'm back like, Can turn. you please close your eyes if you do the thing? Um, you see that uh, she is wearing a veil. Okay. I mean, I need to drop the ice wall anyway. Over her head. Her, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, I one, try two, and look at the box. I put like a Who hand. has the fly Ben, do you have the fly spell up? Uh, I don't know how many power points it is, and I don't have access it, to... It's three power points, and then two for each additional participant. Oof. One, two, three, four, five. With the speed boost, make it six. Minus three, so it's a minus six. I'll channel. I'll do... Budcast... Um, hmm. All right, do you want me to try to boost your magic real quick? I probably just drop spells or something. Um, I mean, yeah, that's why I'm not. I would... No, if if I rage cast, this should be enough. So it'll be plus two. <clears throat> Hard to yeah. see. <laughs> I 
roll the six. Six and an eight. Nice. Six and an eight. Nice. Gotcha. All right. So you guys Four all have fly. Out. Um. Yeah, so Mr. Dibs, to answer your question, you look over at this thing. Mm -hmm. um, so with real sight, you're able to see it a little bit more detail. Uh, it is a um, a brass uh, like canister sort of. Okay. Um, it so it's it's about like two feet in length. Okay. Uh, and you see, it has like a handle at the top, kind of like a one of those big like sort of giant battery things that you see in like science fiction stuff okay um and you see it's bound in this golden chain which is like coiled around the tip of the platform here uh and like wrapped around uh keto's uh like wrists and arms and like up the length of her torso which uh her torso is like connected to this like mass of uh scaly flesh that sort of protrudes out so it's like <laughs> so all this she sort of, is her yeah so wow. when when she talks is it one of these snakes talking or all yeah, of yeah. Talking? Mm -hmm. that's oh wow all of the snakes are talking like to so yeah when we saw when i looked the at the chorus. picture in the bestiary i'm like i don't think this is like a small person anymore like you know i think this is a large thing and now I'm like yeah this is a huge <laughs> this is fucking huge this is awesome. This is not a, a standard Gorgon. No, obviously shape. not. That's why it's down here. But yeah. <laughs> so this is some some fucked up shit you find at the bottom of the ocean. Or yeah, you know, out in the shape. middle of a death forest. Maybe yeah. we don't want to really is there. I, I mean, want to. I do, but I want to. This needs to be out in the world for us to hunt down later. <laughs> in a different campaign. I think that would be awesome. Um, okay, uh, I guess Dib still at, uh, asks uh, Keto if I if one is to grab the the brass the, the brass item in front of you and just run. Do you come with? I think I asked that, but I want to make sure. I am compelled to pursue. Pursue. So pursue and kill. For pursue for how long? Yes. Until you are outside the vault? Yes. Oh my god, this is the most dangerous thing in the world. What are we doing? <laughs> Sorry, I dropped out for a second. What happened? Okay. So I so let's say so if the plan is to run and grab the box in front of her, which is like a little brass canister with a handle on it, uh, and run out of the vault. Which then breaks that little that curse thing or the, the the binding, but she's attacking the entire time. She's attacking the person carrying it, the whole time. I, are, aren't you gonna cut the chain? I don't know how. Is that like it's a gold? It is magic fairly. Chain. It's fairly thin. Oh, uh, there there are also other. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> It's like very small, fine links. Like it, honestly, if it's made of gold, you could probably break it with your bare hands. Okay, I thought it was like. Also, I thought it was you glowing have a scimitar with AP six right now. I know, but uh, I figured it wouldn't be just a regular ass chain. I figured it. I be mean, like... maybe yeah, if it has some sort of magic power to it, then you know well, anything could be I, tough. But I uh, look, does it have magic power to it? Uh, the, yeah, there is an aura on them. Hit it really hard. All right, <laughs> all right, so the plan is to just hit the chain really hard. I don't know hard. what else we can do. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Did you get the? Did you get the make him go fast? You go yep. fast. You I, fly and you go fast. All right, I, I fly. I go fast. Does everyone want fast. to go fast or just dead right now? All of us. We are all fast flyers. All right. <laughs> did you say it's doubled? It's double plus two. Okay, and what does run do, or does run work? You can't uh, run while you fly but, but, like this. Yeah. But can I run if I'm on the ground or not? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, so the, but the speed doesn't affect the run. No. Okay. All right. Five. Or one, two, three, four, five. I think this is how far I was when the other one started moving. Uh, yeah. Thereabouts. Mm -hmm. All right. Holy, but Jesus. 
<clears throat> I've got eight pace doubled plus two. Sixteen, so is it plus two then double? Well I, if it, if it's fly, then we then it should be um sorry, I lost it. No, Chris, it's it's double your pace yep. plus two. Plus two, sorry, you that's not run. Yep, okay, so Double pace, so 16 plus 2, so I've got 18. <laughs> I can make it. Do, is my my book out of date? Because this says that you have a pace of 12, or twice that with her. Yeah, so your pace is moved to 12. Right. And you double your pace on a raise, plus 2, so it's 26. Okay, that's oh. what I was getting. I said 26. Oh, okay. Oh. I did thought he had his pace times 2. Yeah, that's oh, what no. I was saying, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. your pace is set to 12, so you can oh. run... I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're walking on the ground, then you're just doing your normal walking speed. Right. The soar pace is 12. Yeah. The fly pace. Okay. I see. I get it. Sorry. Sorry for the confusion. And it says he may not run. Oh. Yep. So I can get almost back after going in there, whack attack, grabbing it, and getting here. I mean, you could probably go right up to it. And then whack attack. Yep. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get as close as I can. I'm gonna be flying so I don't kick this shit over. Mm -hmm. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you stay over there. All right. Yep. You walk up to it. Yep. Uh, the, the the serpents still have their eyes closed. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, hello, hello, Keto. Uh, hand raises, sort of in greeting. Uh, you see the like, the the thin gold chain wrapping around her. Uh, there, there are like many, many coils of chain around on the floor, surrounding these pots and the more brass plates. Oh. Um, but the ones around her, her like arms and wrists. Uh, her skin is the sort of like light gray color and it's like darkened almost like it's burned around where the chain chains are uh, now an asshole sort would just <laughs> cut her head off <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see I've gotten close enough hot chop <laughs> um, I guess I, I guess I'll pull out my rifle at this point and just go ahead and take aim at one of the uh one of the heads one of the heads near dibs <laughs> okay uh if things get a little rough uh sorry we don't mean to injure your it's a copious violence yep i uh take yeah i get the fight for your life <laughs> Okay, uh, so it's it's the it's the rapier with all that AP on it. So I take that and uh... God damn it! I don't even know if touching these chains is, is going to activate. This. Uh, yeah, you will have to be like here to. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm right there. And... Being careful not to like touch any, like step on anything. Yep. And is it possible to line up a strike to get multiple chains at once? Uh, yeah. There are chains on like both sides though, mm -hmm. uh, so you'd have to do like more than one attack, two attacks minimum. Okay, I get out um, my scimitar with also with my other smite because okay. I think that just would do it as well, the acid smite. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, so Don Don's Iyer goes in the in the sheath. Out comes Acid Scimitar, and I just make simultaneous attacks. Hi ha ha ha! Just to, all right. Just to make this quick. Uh, give me two fighting. Yep. Fighting rolls. Your so fighting rolls. To... Yep, yep. Uh, a five and a eight. All right. Uh, roll damage. Okay. Um, so Scimitar first, because that's in that hand. Hi ya. 12 plus 2 acid and then hi -ya. 
have. No, oh, yeah. Um, then 8 plus 6, 4 plus 14. Uh, no, 8 